Hi friends, welcome back. Today I'm gonna be making koppe pan. Koppe pan is a Japanese take on hot dog buns we grew up eating at school lunch. This recipe is a little sweeter than the regular hot dog bun, so you can enjoy it as it is with soup and salad, but commonly eaten as sandwiches. I'm gonna show you the step-by-step -step instructions to make a perfect koppe pan and turn them into the Japanese-style delicious sandwiches. Let's get started. In a stand mixer bowl, combine the bread flour, whole wheat flour, sugar, salt, and instant yeast. Run the mixer until the dry ingredients are well combined, and in a jar, mix whole milk and lukewarm water, and pour the liquid slow and steady stream. The temperature of the liquid is about 36 degrees Celsius, 96 degrees Fahrenheit. Keep the mixer running on low speed until it forms a dough, then turn on the speed to medium and run for the 5 to 6 minutes. Now let's give the dough a window pane test. Take a small piece of dough and pinch it between your fingers and stretch. The dough creates a thin film that almost sits through the other side. This is ok to go. Add unsalted butter and run the mixer until the dough comes back together and elastic and smooth. And give it a window pane test again to make sure the butter is all mixed in. Shape the dough into a bowl and give the tension to the surface to hold the gas inside and press it the dough in a greased bowl and cover it with plastic. I always use a shower cap that you can use several times to save the materials. Allow it to rise in a warm place for about 55 to 60 minutes until it has doubled in size. Once the dough has risen, now let's we will give it a finger test. Poke it with your flour dusted finger and the hole stays that is ok to go. And take out the dough onto the dusted working surface and divide into 5. I am making a double batch, so divide into 10 equal portions. It's about 70 grams per piece. Roll each piece into a bowl and cover it with plastic wrap to prevent it from drying out and let it rest for about 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, we will shape it into a koppe pan. Roll out the dough to 1 cm in thickness, 1 third of an inch. Fold from the bottom and top and then fold it in half and pinch to seal the end. Roll the dough to stretch a little and press on the parchment lined baking tray seam side down. Ok, let's see one more time. I have 5 koppe pan mold, so I put 5 in, but the rest of the 5 is naked. And spray water to give them a nice moisture and cover them with a plastic wrap and let them rise for another 30 minutes. My kitchen is still cold, so I put a baking tray filled with a hot water underneath. Meanwhile, preheat your oven to 180 degrees Celsius, 350 Fahrenheit. When you see the dough rises almost double, 
Brush each pan with a beaten egg white and bake for 15 minutes or until golden brown. Let the kope pan cool on a wire rack before serving. Look at those beautiful kope pan. The one baked in the kope pan mold looks more risen and probably because the gas keeps inside in the mold and goes higher. But both kope pan looks so beautiful. Here comes the fun part. You can add the filling of your choice, but let me show you a popular choices. Cut in the middle of the bread and fill with anko, azuki bean paste, and thin slices of butter. This is my absolute favorite, and it's a trend in the Japanese bakery. And the next one is an all-time favorite, egg salad. I'll put the link in the description box below for the complete recipes. The next one is korokke. Dip in the sauce and fill in the kope pan. The most comfortable and affordable sandwiches for us. My number one favorite when I was young. And the next one is protein rich salada chicken sandwich. Keep your full all the afternoons if you have it for lunch and it's suitable for the kids and if you have exercises, it's good for you. This is a convenience store style, but I make my own salad chicken in my kitchen. And here comes the weird sandwich, Napolitan spaghetti sandwich and yakisoba sandwich. I don't know who makes it, but surprisingly delicious. And you can make a vegetable sandwich or yogurt and yuzu card I made last week and play around your favorite and create your own hundreds of kope pans. I hope you will give this recipe a try on the weekend. Thank you for watching the video. Give me a big thumbs up and share the video with your friends and families. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and tap the bell icon not to miss any of my new videos. And follow me on the social media and tag me on your post if you give it a try. And join my happy eating group to share your food with me. And go to my website for more information. And my store on Amazon has pretty much everything that I'm using in my video. Thanks again and I will see you soon. Bye!